You know, sometimes people are like, she's a vegan, what are you gonna have for dinner today? Well, for a family of four, I've got some potatoes out. I've got some peppers and onions already cut up. I have some kale. I have some homemade seitan that I cooked up. And now I'm gonna to start to slice my potatoes. I'm gonna go ahead and put them in the oven so they can roast, I'm gonna season them. And I'm going to stir fry my kale with my onions and peppers. So let's get started. All right. So even though it's a family of four, you really wanna pull from your starches. You wanna pull from your green leafy vegetables. And we can have a delicious dish here. Uh, the rest of potatoes are not the best for people to eat. Uh, it's my understanding that those potatoes are actually used in fast food industries. The red potatoes and the yellow potatoes are a bit more nutritionally dense. Thanks, Oneida. And so don't think, oh, I'm a vegan. I don't, or, or why, how, could, how could I eat a vegan meal? What, what would I eat? But um, I've got a delicious meal coming up for my family here that everybody can enjoy. My number one go-to is the air fryer. It's just, it's everything. Putting things in the air fryer is everything. If, uh, if you guys wanna see a video on how to make seitan, I can, I can show you one. If you look on my post, you can see that I have a small business service set up, a service of Tar Cannon LLC called Vegan Meals for Two. So I enjoy making plant-based meals for people. If you're in the area and you have a referral and you want a vegan cook to come to your home and prepare dinner for you and the loved one, uh, I have a package that I am uh, that I would love to share with you for that. Mommy, it's that, mommy. It's that and that's my daughter uh, in the background. But she's ready to eat, and that's understandable. Who doesn't want to eat? So. Like I said, I got the yellow potatoes coming here. Um, I feel very strongly about um, about eating plant-based. It's not, the, not something that I would make somebody do, but there's so many uh, health benefits to eating uh, plant-based. The thing about it, too, is when you're putting your potatoes in your air fryer or anywhere, you want to try to make sure they're dry as much as possible. But I'm trying to speed up my cooking process because everybody's hungry. You know, pe people are going to be hungry. That's understandable. So I'm just going to like just roast my potatoes in some foil so they can be cooking. My seitan, I made that the other day. So it won't be, you know, it'll be, it'll be pretty easy to get going. So, so I'm going to put these in, on, in the oven. I got them on 350 bake. I can season them more later. I'm just going to use seasoned salt. I believe eating this way is the key to reversing heart disease and other things like that. Like I said, not, not trying to force anybody to, to eat that way, but I, I've experienced so many uh, health benefits in, uh, in going to this lifestyle. So. so I'm just doing the prep part of the meal with you. I don't want to stay on the video too long and, and show you everything. Maybe I'll come back and show it to you when it's done. I don't know. Depends on what the kids are doing. So right now I'm just cutting my peppers into even finer pieces. Also another key to eating vegan is when you have a lot of your produce, if you can kind of have things sort of cut up before, that helps out a lot. That helps out a whole lot. Like my seitan, you know, is already prepared. You know, my kale is already pre-washed. And, and the key also to eating this way is I'm using a lot of herbs using herbs and like I said I will make this video public it won't just be for friends I can put this out into the, the cyberspace and I've got some red peppers here some yellow peppers if you want sort of that Mexican feel that that that, that fajita style thing you can always go with peppers and onions they just never really disappoint so I'm gonna stop here and I will try to come back when the dinner is done thank you